The identities of patients from all over the Chicago area were put at risk when thousands of medical files containing personal information tossed in the trash. Our CBS2 investigator Dave Savini found the dumpster, alerted authorities, and today the Illinois Attorney General filed a lawsuit. That could result in millions of dollars in fines. Dave Savini has the story. What we found in this garbage dumpster has led to a consumer fraud lawsuit against FileFax, a Northbrook-based company. So they've completely violated the law. They've completely violated people's trust, and we want to hold them accountable for that. Illinois Attorney General Lisa Madigan took swift action, filing the suit today against FileFax. The case details how CBS2 uncovered the dumpster. Medical, financial, and other personal records just tossed in the trash. I couldn't believe that somebody did that. And I was happy that you got the file and not some, you know, random person who would have taken advantage of us. Diane Scarpelli's records were in that dumpster, too. She was a patient at Suburban Lung Associates, which had hired file facts to store, maintain, and then properly destroy records like hers. What was in this? Uh, my driver's license, my Social Security number, my husband's Social Security number was in there, uh, where I live, my phone number my uh, insurance cards. In February, CBS2 exposed multiple days of this dumpster being filled with records. We even tracked down this woman who filled her blue can up 10 times with 1,100 pounds of medical files to be recycled. They gave you permission to right. take them, right? Yeah. It cannot simply be given to anybody who walks into their office saying that they'd like to allegedly have this to be recycled. We alerted Northbrook police about the dumpster and they ordered file facts to take it back inside. No one from the company would talk to us. Each mishandled medical file could result in a $50,000 fine, which could be millions of dollars. Dave Savini, CBS2 Investigators. Thanks so much, Dave. A federal investigation into file facts also is underway. File facts did not return our calls today. Suburban Lung Associates says the patients affected were last seen in 2004. They've mailed letters to all those impacted and are offering credit monitoring and identity theft protection on CBSChicago.com. We have Suburban Lung Associates' complete statement and a phone number affected patients can call.